Year 7. Thanks for sending in all your Andy Goldsworthy sculptures last week. It was really lovely seeing all your stone balancing and your leaf sculptures. So he was obviously an artist that collected things out in the environment to make his sculptures with. And this week I'm asking you to look at an artist called Michael Craig Martin, who uses very ordinary, simple, everyday objects as inspiration for his artwork. Uh, I've put together some time-lapse videos for you and a PowerPoint, so make sure you check those out because that will help you do the task. If you don't have access to any of the equipment that I've um, suggested in the videos, in the time-lapse videos, don't worry, just adapt it to whatever you have at home. Keep it simple and do a line drawing if that's all you've got, or if you do have felt tips, coloured pencils, paints, whatever you have to hand, just use that for your piece of work. And do send in photos because it's really lovely to see what you're doing at home. Thank you. Bye. I'm going to show you how to do a Michael Craig Martin drawing painting. You will need, at the very least, um, a piece of paper, a pencil and a rubber. That's the, the, the minimum you'll need. You'll still be able to create it if you've got those three items. But ideally, you would also have tracing paper or greaseproof paper that you use for cooking some colours paper or some paint to paint a piece of uh, paper, uh, a black sort of outlining pen, and you might need some paper clips as well. So I started off by drawing some objects around my home. So I've done a milk container, pen, scissors, a safety pin, kitchen spray and a peg. I had the items in front of me so I could observe them and draw them accurately. I didn't put too much detail in. Don't worry about shading, just a simple outline of that object. Then what I would like you to do is I would like you to trace those objects. If you don't have tracing paper or greaseproof paper, you can just draw your drawing directly, um, but you'll see the advantage of having tracing paper in just one second. So a recap on tracing. Uh, the tracing paper, you can see through it a little bit, so you can see your drawing underneath, and you lay it on top, this way you might need the paper clips and you copy your drawing through the tracing paper. Now you've obviously got pencil on this side now so you can then turn it over, put it onto a fresh piece of paper and if you press you'll get the line coming out underneath. But it only works if you turn it over so the pencil side is touching the page. Okay, So that's a recap on tracing. Now the reason I want you to trace is because Michael Craig Martin really looked at the composition of how those objects work together and he also worked on scale. So you'll see here we've got a very small object, the safety pin, but actually drawn much bigger than the milk bottle which you would expect to be bigger. So he played around with scale and he also played around with how those objects were positioned on the page and how they would relate to each other. So this is one I created to show you. Um, so um, as you can see because I've got the tracing paper I can position it on the page work out where I like things, and then I can outline them. So it's easier on a blank piece of paper. I think, oh yeah, I'll put my milk bottle there, I'll put my safety pin, pin at an angle, etc. And you can have the safety pin in front, or if you were to do the lines and stop them here, your safety pin then goes behind. So you can play around with all sorts of different composition by using the tracing paper. Now, he does go on to paint his. He... Um, he does very bright, bold colours um, and he paints the objects in a very bright, bold way. There's no shading uh, on them, it's just a simple block colour. He also did keep some of his drawings um, like the one I've got here, so an outline with a black pen. So if you don't have coloured paper and you don't have paint, you can still create a Michael Craig Martin style drawing, um, but it will look something like this. And if you don't have a black pen to outline, you can just use a, a dark pen you know press hard with your pencil okay so here's one I've prepared uh, for painting I didn't have any colored paper so I've painted the background let it dry this was acrylic paint and I will come back and I will um, paint this so I've done you a time-lapse video on how I traced it and I will also do a time-lapse video on how I will paint it 